the classical or traditional Mongolian script in Mongolian script Mong Gamma Ol Bisig, in Mongolian Cyrillic, Mongol Bisig Mongol Bichig, also known as Hutam Mongol Bichig, was the first writing system created specifically for the Mongolian language, and was the most successful until the introduction of Cyrillic in 1946. Derived from the Old Uyghur alphabet, Mongolian is a true alphabet, with separate letters for consonants and vowels. The Mongolian script has been adapted to write languages such as Orat and Manchu. Alphabets based on this classical vertical script are used in Inner Mongolia and other parts of China to this day to write Mongolian, Xibe and experimentally, Avenki. To ensure that text in the script displays correctly in your browser, the appearance of the text samples in the table below should match. The more specific shapes include the final shapes on lines 1 yin suffix, 3 separated a, and 4 sixths vowel harmony dependent g in the middle column, and the interrogative particle u u, u in the rightmost column. Note that in some browsers, letters are rotated 90 degrees counterclockwise. If the isolate letter a, resembles a, w, and not a, sigma, rotate the letters 90 degrees clockwise. History Topic. The Mongolian vertical script developed as an adaptation of the Old Uyghur alphabet to the Mongolian language. From the 7th and 8th to the 15th and 16th centuries, the Mongolian language separated into southern, eastern and western dialects. The principal monuments of the Middle Period are, in the Eastern dialect, the famous text The Secret History of the Mongols, monuments in the square script, materials of the Chinese Mongolian glossary of the 14th century, and materials of the Mongolian language of the Middle Period in Chinese transcription, etc. In the Western dialect, materials of the Arab Mongolian and Persian Mongolian dictionaries, Mongolian texts in Arabic transcription, etc. The main features of the period are that the vowels i and i had lost their phonemic significance, creating the i phoneme in the Chakar dialect, the standard Mongolian in Inner Mongolia, their still distinct, intervocal consonants gamma per gram, b, w had disappeared and the preliminary process of the formation of Mongolian long vowels had begun, the initial h was preserved in many words, grammatical categories were partially absent, etc. The development over this period explains why Mongolian script looks like a vertical Arabic script in particular the presence of the dots system. Eventually, minor concessions were made to the differences between the Uyghur and Mongol languages. In the 17th and 18th centuries, smoother and more angular versions of Saudi became associated with D and respectively, and in the 19th century, the Manchu hooked yod was adopted for initial J, Zane was dropped as it was redundant for S. Various schools of orthography, some using diacritics, were developed to avoid ambiguity. Mongolian is written vertically. The Uyghur script and its descendants Mongolian, Orak Clear, Manchu, and Buryat are the only vertical scripts written from left to right. This developed because the Uyghurs rotated their Sogdian derived script, originally written right to left, 90 degrees counterclockwise to emulate Chinese writing, but without changing the relative orientation of the letters. Mongols learned their script as a syllabary, dividing the syllables into 12 different classes, based on the final phonemes of the syllables, all of which ended in vowels. Name the traditional Mongolian script is known by a wide variety of names. Due to its shape like Uyghur script, it became known as the Uyghurjin Mongol script Mongolian. During the communist era, when Cyrillic became the official script for the Mongolian language, the traditional script became known as the Old Mongol script Mongolian, Husin Mongol Bisig in contrast to the new script Mongolian, Sine Seig referring to Cyrillic. The name Old Mongol script stuck, and it is still known as such among the older generation, who didn't receive education in the new script. Letters The traditional or classical Mongolian alphabet, sometimes called Hudam, traditional, in Orat in contrast to the clear script Toto, exact is the original form of the Mongolian script used to write the Mongolian language. It does not distinguish several vowels o, u, o, u, final a, e, and consonants syllable initial t, d and k per gram, sometimes y that were not required for Uyghur, which was the source of the Mongol or Uyghur Mongol script. 
The result is somewhat comparable to the situation of English, which must represent ten or more vowels with only five letters and uses the digraph th for two distinct sounds. Ambiguity is sometimes prevented by context, as the requirements of vowel harmony and syllable sequence usually indicate the correct sound. Moreover, as there are few words with an exactly identical spelling, actual ambiguities are rare for a reader who knows the orthography. Letters have different forms depending on their position in a word, initial, medial, or final. In some cases, additional graphic variants are selected for visual harmony with the subsequent character. Alphabetical orders Traditional, n, q, k, gamma, per gram, b, p, s, s, t, d, l, m, c. Modern, n, b, p, q, k, per gram, m, l, s, s, t, d, c. Other modern orderings that apply to specific dictionaries also exist. Handwriting specific forms, the final letter forms with a right swinging tail a, e, n, q, m, l, and d may have the notch tooth preceding the tail, more or less reduced to a curve in handwriting. Mongolian vowel harmony divides vowels into three groups. A word and its suffixes can only contain vowels from either of the first two groups below. Neutral I can appear in all words however. These rules might not apply for foreign words however. The three vowel groups are The back, masculine, hard, or yang vowels a, o, and u. The front, feminine, soft, or yin vowels e, o, and u. The neutral vowel i, a separated final form of vowels a or e is common, and can appear at the end of a word, word stem, or suffix. This form requires a final shape preceding consonant and an interword gap in between. The vowels themselves appear as and with consonants as q a, r a, r e, etc. Warning this gap can be transliterated with a hyphen. In digital typesetting, these forms are triggered by inserting a u plus 180 e, Mongolian vowel separator HTML, MVS, between the consonant and vowel. The combination of MVS and vowel is highlighted in light blue, warning in the tables below. The presence or lack of a separated a or e can also indicate differences in meaning between different words compare, warning qara, black, with, kara, to look. Its form could be confused with that of the identically shaped traditional dative locative suffix a, e exemplified further down. That form however, is more commonly found in older texts, and more commonly takes the forms of, ter, ter or, dur, dur instead. Many suffixes and case suffixes in particular are likewise separated by a gap and transliterated with a hyphen. In digital typesetting, this gap is represented by a U plus 202F narrow no break space HTML NNBSP. The combination of NNBSP and its following glyph is highlighted in light blue in the tables below as in suffix initial, N. Single letter suffixes appear as final formed A, E, I, or U, U as in Gamma ara to the country, and ed or e on the day, or ulusi the state, etc. Warning: multi-letter suffixes can start with an initial, medial, or variant-shaped glyph. Medial, variant-shaped u in the two-letter suffix. Warning: un, un being exemplified in the adjacent newspaper logo. Isolate citation forms for syllables containing o, u, o, and u may in dictionaries appear without a final tail, as in bo, bu, or mo, mu, and with a vertical tail, as in bo, bu, or mo per meter u, as well as in transcriptions of Chinese syllables. Topic. Tables Topic. A dash indicates a non-applicable position for that glyph. Parentheses enclose glyphs or positions whose corresponding sounds are not found in native Mongolian words. Palatalized phonemes have been excluded. These are conditioned by a following I. Topic. Vowels Topic. Transcribes chakar, kalka, a, and, warning equals connected Gaelic final, medial and final forms may be distinguished from those of other tooth-shaped letters through, vowel harmony e, the shape of adjacent consonants c q a q, k and ga gamma per gram below, and position in syllable sequence n, ing, q, gamma, d, the final tail extends to the left after bow-shaped consonants such as b, p, f, ka g, and k h a k, and to the right in all other cases. Derived from Old Uyghur Aleph, written twice for isolate and initial forms. 
Transcribes chakar, kalka, i, e, and medial and final forms may be distinguished from those of other tooth-shaped letters through vowel harmony uh, and its effect on the shape of a word's consonants. C Q A Q K and ga gamma per gram below, or position in syllable sequence. N ing d equals a traditional initial form. The final tail extends to the left after bow-shaped consonants such as b, p, q, a, k, and ga g, and to the right in all other cases. Also derived from Old Uyghur Aleph. Transcribes chakar, i, or kalka, i, and today often absorbed into a preceding syllable when at the end of a word. Written medially with a single stroke after a consonant, and with two after a vowel, with rare exceptions like naima, eight, or naiman, eight. Tribal name equals a handwritten Inner Mongolian variant on the sequence yi, as in sayin, good. Being written sane, derived from Old Uyghur Yod, preceded by an Aleph for isolate and initial forms. Transcribes Chakar, Kalka, and, written identically to you in native words, distinction depending on context. Equals the final form used in loanwords, derived from Old Uyghur Waw, preceded by an Aleph for isolate and initial forms. Transcribes Chakar, Kalka, and, written identically to O in native words, distinction depending on context. Derived from Old Uyghur Waw, preceded by an Aleph for isolate and initial forms. Transcribes Chakar, O, Kalka, O, and, written identically to U in native words, distinction depending on context. Equals an older final form, also used in loanwords. The first medial form is used in the first syllable of native words, and in subsequent medial positions of loanwords. Derived from Old Uyghur Waw, in a digraph with Yod in word initial syllables, preceded by an Aleph for isolate and initial forms. Transcribes Chakar, U, Kalka, U, and, written identically to O in native words, distinction depending on context. Equals an older final form, also used in loanwords. The first medial form is used in the first syllable of native words, and in subsequent medial positions of loanwords. Derived from Old Uyghur Waw, in a digraph with Yod in word initial syllables, preceded by an Aleph for isolate and initial forms. Stands in for E in loanwords. Topic. Consonants Topic. Transcribes Chakar, N, Kalka, N, and distinction from other tooth shaped letters by position in syllable sequence. Dotted before a vowel, attached or separated, undotted before a consonant, syllable final, or a white space. Final dotted n is also found in modern Mongolian words. Historically also consistently undotted, etc., derived from Old Uyghur nun. Transcribes chakar, kalka, not occurring word initially, transcribes per nanogram, in Tibetan, na, Sanskrit na, na, derived from Old Uyghur nun kaf digraph. Transcribes chakar, b, kalka, p, with, and, for classical Mongolian, Latin v is used only for transcribing foreign words, so most v, v in Cyrillic Mongolian correspond to b, b in classical Mongolian. Equals an alternative, older final form, derived from old Uyghur pe. Transcribes chakar, p, kalka, p, only at the beginning of Mongolian words although words with an initial p tend to be foreign, not occurring word or syllable finally, transcribes, p, in Tibetan, pa, Gallic letter, derived from Mongolian b. Transcribes chakar, x, kalka, x. Only in words with back a, o, and u vowels, distinction from other tooth-shaped letters by position in syllable sequence. Not occurring word or syllable finally, variously dotted, undotted, or written cough shaped as an initial in early orthography, derived from merger of Old Uyghur Gimel and Hef. Transcribes Chakar, X, Kalka, X. Only in words with neutral I in front E, O, and U vowels, undistinguished from Ga G, not occurring word or syllable finally, derived from Old Uyghur cough. Transcribes Chakar, Kalka, and, only in words with back a, o, and u vowels, dotted before a vowel, attached or separated, undotted before a consonant, syllable final, or a white space, may turn silent between two adjacent vowels, and merge these into a long vowel or diphthong. q a gamma and kagan, for instance, is read as q a a n unless reading classical literary Mongolian. Some exceptions like t s a g on, white, exist. Historically also undotted, also transliterated with Latin, derived from Old Uyghur Gimel Heth. 
transcribes chakar per gram, kalka per gram. Only in words with neutral i and front e, o, and u vowels, undistinguished from qak, not occurring word initially with a consonant following it, except in loanwords as in, warning jison, moment, or, warning gram, gram. The final form is also found written like Manchu final, k, may turn silent between two adjacent vowels, and merge these into a long vowel or diphthong. Deger for instance, is read as deer. Some exceptions like yugui, no, exist. Derived from Old Uyghur kaf. Transcribes chakar per meter, kalka per meter, equals ml, written as a medial ligature, derived from Old Uyghur mem. Transcribes chakar, l, kalka. Not occurring word initially in native words, forms a ligature with a preceding bow shaped consonant in loanwords such as warning blama, lama, from Tibetan, wily, blama, derived from Old Uyghur hooked resh. Transcribes chakar, s, or before i, kalka, s, or before i. Equals an older final variant form for s, derived from Old Uyghur zion, example from the steel of Yisung, singus, gangus. Derived from merger of Old Uyghur Samek and Shin. Transcribes Chakar. Kalka. Historically also undotted, final S is only found in modern Mongolian words, derived from Old Uyghur Samek Shin. Transcribes Chakar. T. Kalka. T. Syllable initially undistinguished from D in native words, not occurring word or syllable finally, derived from Old Uyghur Ta and Lamed initial, and medial form respectively, positional variants on Ta. Are used consistently for t in foreign words. The lamed glyph may appear with a diagonal oval shape in handwriting, similar in form to Gallic ta, or more angular and closer in shape to Gallic da in older texts. Transcribes chakar d, kalka t, and t syllable initially undistinguished from t in native words. To distinguish it medially, it can be written twice with both medial forms, as in kudu gamma. The belly tooth shaped form is used before consonants, syllable final, the other before vowels, derived from Old Uyghur ta and lamed, initial belly tooth shaped medial, final, and other medial form respectively. Positional variants on lamed are used consistently for d in foreign words. The lamed glyph may appear with a diagonal oval shape in handwriting, similar in form to Gallic ta or more angular and closer in shape to Gallic da, in older texts. Transcribes chakar, t, kalka, t, or, t, s, also transliterated with Cyrillic c. Distinction between, t, and, t, s, in kalka Mongolian. Not occurring word or syllable finally, derived from Old Uyghur Sadi, and in the 17th-18th century classical Mongolian language distinguished from medial, through its more angular form. Transcribes chakar, d, Kalka, D, or D, Z, also transliterated with Cyrillic Z. Distinction by context between D and D, Z, in Kalka Mongolian. Not occurring word or syllable finally, also transliterated with Latin J, derived from Old Uyghur Yod initial and Saadi medial, and in the 17th-18th century classical Mongolian language distinguished from medial C, through its less angular form. Transcribes chakar, j, kalka, j. The second unhooked initial and medial forms are older ones, derived from Old Uyghur yod, and in the 19th century distinguished from initial, by the borrowing of Manchu hooked yod. Transcribes chakar, r, kalka, r, not occurring word initially except in loanwords. Transcribed foreign words usually get a vowel prepended, transcribing rus Russia results in oros. Derived from Old Uyghur resh. Topic. Consonants for foreign words Topic. Transcribes chakar, with, used to transcribe foreign words originally for v in Sanskrit va, va. Transcribes, with in Tibetan, wa, Old Uyghur and Chinese loanwords, also transliterated with Latin v, derived from Old Uyghur bet, and waw, before a separated vowel. Transcribes chakar, f, used to transcribe foreign words. Transcribes, p, in Tibetan, p a, Gallic letter, derived from Mongolian b. Transcribes chakar, k, also transliterated with Latin k, used to transcribe foreign words originally for g in Tibetan, ga, Sanskrit ga, ga, Gallic letter. Also transliterated with Latin kh, used to transcribe foreign words originally for k in Tibetan, k a, Sanskrit ka, kha.
Transcribes Chakar, T. S., used to transcribe foreign words originally for T. S. in Tibetan, T. S. a, Sanskrit cha, cha, Gallic letter, derived from preclassical Mongolian sadi c, tilde. Transcribes Chakar, D. Z., used to transcribe foreign words originally for D. Z. in Tibetan, D. Z. A., Sanskrit ya, ya, Gallic letter, derived from preclassical Mongolian sadi c, tilde. Transcribes Chakar, H, X, used to transcribe foreign words originally for H in Tibetan, per hectare, Ha, Sanskrit Ha per hectare, Gallic letter, preceded by an Aleph for initial form. Transcribes Chakar, transcribes Chinese R, tilde, as in Ri Ri used in Inner Mongolia. Always followed by an I, transliterates, in Tibetan, A. Transcribes Tibetan LH. Example, Lhasa, digraph composed of, L and, H. Transcribes, LH, in Tibetan, LHA. Transcribes ZH in the Chinese syllable G, used in Inner Mongolia, Gallic letter. Transcribes CH in the Chinese syllable Kai, as in Qi Kai, used in Inner Mongolia. Notes Topic. Punctuation Topic. Topic. Examples. Topic. Transliteration. Wikipedia Siligetu Nebteke Toli Bisig Balai. Cyrillic. Wikipedia Klort Nebtirai Tol Bisig Balai. Transcription. Wikipedia Cholut Nebturki Toli Bichig Boloi. Gloss. Wikipedia Free Omni Profound Mirror Scripturas. Translation, Wikipedia is the free encyclopedia. Topic. Child systems Topic. The Mongol script has been the basis of alphabets for several languages. First, after overcoming the Uyghur script ductus, it was used for Mongolian itself. Topic. Clear script or at alphabet. Topic. In 1648, the Orat Buddhist monk Zaya Pandita Namkaijamko created this variation with the goals of bringing the written language closer to the actual pronunciation of Orat and making it easier to transcribe Tibetan and Sanskrit. The script was used by the Kalmyks of Russia until 1924, when it was replaced by the Cyrillic alphabet. In Xinjiang, China, the Orat people still use it. Topic. Manchu alphabet. Topic. The Manchu alphabet was developed from the Mongolian script in the early 17th century to write the Manchu language. A variant is still used to write XIBE. It is also used for door. Its folded variant may for example be found on Chinese Qing seals. Topic. Vagindra alphabet Topic. Another alphabet, sometimes called Vagindra or Vagantara, was created in 1905 by the Buryat monk Agvan Dorjiev (1854–1938). It was also meant to reduce ambiguity and to support the Russian language in addition to Mongolian. The most significant change, however, was the elimination of the positional shape variations. All letters were based on the medial variant of the original Mongol alphabet. Fewer than a dozen books were printed using it. Topic. Avenki alphabet Topic. The Qing dynasty Qianlong Emperor erroneously identified the Khitan people and their language with the Solons, leading him to use the Solon language Avenki to correct Chinese character transcriptions of Khitan names in the history of Liao in his Imperial Liao Jin Yuan Three Histories National Language Explanation. Qin Ding Liao Jin Yuan San Shi Guo Yu Jia Qin Ding Liao Jin Yuan San Shi Guo Yu Jia King Ding Liao Jin Yuan San Shi Guo Yu Ji project. The Avenki words were written in the Manchu script in this work. In the 1980s, an experimental alphabet for Avenki was created. Topic: <laughs> Additional characters. Topic. Topic. Gallic characters Topic. 
In 1587, the translator and scholar Ayush Ghosh created the Gallic alphabet, Ali Gali inspired by the third Dalai Lama, Sanam Gyatso. It primarily added extra characters for transcribing Tibetan and Sanskrit terms when translating religious texts, and later also from Chinese. Some of those characters are still in use today for writing foreign names compare table above. Unicode Mongolian script was added to the Unicode standard in September 1999 with the release of version 3.0. Blocks <inaudible> 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 The Unicode block for Mongolian is U plus 1800 U plus 18 AF. It includes letters, digits and various punctuation marks for Hudam Mongolian, Toto Mongolian, Xibe Manchu, Manchu proper, and Ali Gali, as well as extensions for transcribing Sanskrit and Tibetan. The Mongolian supplement block U U was added to the Unicode standard in June, 2016 with the release of version 9.0 Font issues Although the Mongolian script has been defined in Unicode since 1999, there was no native support for Unicode Mongolian from the major vendors until the release of the Windows Vista operating system in 2007 and fonts need to be installed in Windows XP and Windows 2000 to show properly, and so Unicode Mongolian is not yet widely used. In China, legacy encodings such as the private use areas PUA, Unicode mappings and GB18030 mappings of the Mengsoft IMES ESPC. Mengsoft Mongolian IME are more commonly used than Unicode for writing web pages and electronic documents in Mongolian. The inclusion of a Unicode Mongolian font and keyboard layout in Windows Vista has meant that Unicode Mongolian is now gradually becoming more popular, but the complexity of the Unicode Mongolian encoding model and the lack of a clear definition for the use variation selectors are still barriers to its widespread adoption, as is the lack of support for inline vertical display. As of 2015 there are no fonts that successfully display all of Mongolian correctly when written in Unicode. A report published in 2011 revealed many shortcomings with automatic rendering in all three Unicode Mongolian fonts the authors surveyed, including Microsoft. S. Mongolian Beiti. Furthermore, Mongolian language support has suffered from buggy implementations. The initial version of Microsoft S Mongolian Beiti font version 5.00 was in the supplier's own words almost unusable and as of 2011 there remain some minor bugs with the rendering of suffixes in Firefox other fonts such as monotype S Mongol USUG and Mayatov Erdan Chimag S. Mongolian script, suffer even more serious bugs. In January 2013, Mengsoft released several open type Mongolian fonts, delivered with its Mengsoft Mongolian IME 2012. These fonts strictly follow Unicode standard, i.e., Bichig is no longer realized as B plus I plus CH plus I plus G plus FVS2 incorrect, but B plus I plus CH plus I plus G correct, which is not done by Microsoft and founder. S Mongolian Beiti, monotype. S Mongol USUG, or Mayatov Erdan Chimeg. S Mongolian script. However, due to the impact of Mongolian Beiti, many still use the Microsoft defined incorrect realization, B plus I plus CH plus I plus G plus FVS2, which results in an incorrect rendering in correctly designed fonts like Menk Kagan Tig. Mongolian script can be represented in LaTeX with the Montex package. See also Topic. Mongolian numerals Mongolian transliteration of Chinese characters Mongolian writing systems Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic. C. J. V. Lang, Making Sense of the Traditional Mongolian Script 
Study Mongolian, written forms with audio pronunciation Omniglot, Mongolian alphabet The Silver Horde, Mongol scripts Online tool for Mongolian script transliteration Automatic converter for traditional Mongolian and Cyrillic Mongolian by the Computer College of Inner Mongolia University.